Just to recap, I made my eyes method over here in different guy. So we're going to be able to generate a person who has blue or brown eyes. And we're also going to be able to generate a person that is either smiling or frowning. This is simply airing out because it says I never used it. Which is true, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt anything. Fold these guys up for a little bit so we can go back over to our demo program where the program starts. Now, what I talked about before is when we made scanners, we created an instance of a class. So now we made our own class up over here in different guy, and we need to make an instance of this class for our program. So we can create multiple instances but we're always referring to the different guy class. So I'm going to create three instances from different guy. So here, let me use scanner as our as our demonstration. When we made a scanner, we typed to search the scanner class, and we'll get that right. And then we gave it a name equals a new scanner system.in. So we only created one instance of that and used that same scanner throughout. Theoretically we could create one instance of this class as well but we want to create a couple so we can utilize the different attributes. So I'm going to create different guy. I'm going to start by calling it Betty equals new different guy. And let's see why it is airing out. I forgot something. Let me take a look at what I forgot real quick. Did you figure out what I forgot? I did. Take a look. You see how this has the parentheses up here? We're not sending any parameters around the class just yet. So they're just going to be blank parentheses for right now. I'll create a different different guy. Different guy Tom equals new different guy. And different guy uh give me a name. I'll do Josh equals new different guy. So I created three people based off of my different class guy attributes. Now I just have to assign them the different things and then print out their information. So system.out.println we can print out I'm going to say Betty dot and now it gives me take a look it's highlighting the two methods that I created in that class and tell me what I have to put in the parameters to access the information. So I'm going to say Betty.Eyes is 2. Is our integer there. Now it's still in out because I haven't put the semicolon at the end. But I'm just going to go ahead and put in here the text Betty's eyes are and then it's going to create the in, use the class to figure out what color her eyes are. And then we're going to figure out if Betty is smiling or not. Uh, her name's Betty, not better. Betty dot smile. Now. I guarantee a couple of you are jumping up and down because I made a huge mistake. I should probably be capitalizing these because they are referring to an instance of the class, but not necessarily the class. So I can actually leave them kind of lowercase. I'm going to verify that. Dang it.